All right, David Kahn, here with another uh, question from your Hayes and Harris Math SL textbook. This is chapter 8C.3, question 2, part C. We're told to use a unit circle diagram to find the vertical component, horizontal component, and angle, or sorry, a slope for the angle beta. Don't be confused by all these betas. Beta is just representing an angle. And the angle in this case is 7 pi on 6. So if we want to find sine, cosine, and tangent for 7 pi on 6, using the unit circle, probably the first thing we should do is draw a unit circle. All right. Now we're dealing with 7 pi on 6, which is more than pi. This is pi and 1 pi on 6. So we're going to go 7 pi on 6 all the way around. Pi is all the way out here. That's half a rotation. So we want to divide pi into sixths. There's a sixth, there's a sixth, there's a sixth, there's a sixth, there's a sixth. And we'll keep going around. There's a sixth, there's a sixth, there's a sixth, there's a sixth, there's a sixth. We want the seventh. So there's one, two, three, seven, sorry. One pi on six, two pi on six, three pi on six, four pi on six, five pi on six, six pi on six, and here is seven pi on six. We want the sine, cosine, and the tangent. So let's start with sine and cosine. That's the vertical component and the horizontal component. When we're dealing with these major angles on the unit circles, thirds, halves, quarters, sixths, sine and cosine always have one of five different values. Here they are in order. Sine or cosine is always 0, 1 half, 1 on root 2, root 3 on 2, or 1. That's in ascending order. That's 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.707, 0 0.866, and 1. And this order can be difficult to remember. There is a pattern, though, behind it all. 0 is root 0 on 2. 1 on 2 is root 1 on 2. This is root 2 on 2. This is root 3 on 2. And this is root 4 on 2. Root 0 on 2, root 1 on 2, root 2 on 2, root 3 on 2, root 4 on 2. From here, you can calculate back to 0, 1 half, 1 on root 2, root 3 on 2, and 1. But anyway, that's a, that's a tangent, so to speak. What we want to know is, is which of these five values is the vertical component, and which is the horizontal component. So the sine of beta is one of these five. Well, it's more than nothing. The length is more than zero. It'd be zero if it was flat, so it's not zero. But there are one, two, three other values. So remember, we also deal with quarters. So there's a quarter, 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 and quarter. So this, for sine, would be zero, one half, one on root two, root three on two, and one, as sine gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So this is almost the smallest. That's one half. But keep in mind the Cartesian plane. This whole region here is the negative side of the Cartesian plane. So while the magnitude is one half, it's actually negative one half. Now for cosine, cosine is also negative because we're on the negative horizontal plane. And this length is pretty long. It's almost as long as it gets. We're just one notch back from 1. So that's going to be root 3 on 2. So the cosine of beta is negative root 3 on 2. That gives us sine, that gives us cosine. For tangent, you could use tangent's unit circle. That's fine if that's the way you like to do it. Or you could just remember that the tangent of the angle is the sine of the angle over the cosine of the angle. That'll be negative 1 half divided by negative root 3 on 2. The 2's cancel, and we get 1 on root 3. 